They are not much older than 10, but they face a dangerous journey beyond their years. Here's the challenge, a steep and precarious climb to their remote village. Some also carry bags and other items too. And it's not just the villagers who travel this way. This dog makes the climb almost look easy. Although for some, the dangers are never far from their minds. This teacher says, it makes my legs shiver. I dare not look down because when I climb upstairs, I feel frightened. It's a relief to reach the top where they are greeted by their family. Inside they catch up. Some of these children have spent months away from home, attending school which is more than 30 kilometers away. Outside, more ladders are being created. They are the only way to access the outside world. I could hardly recall how many ladders we've made. Villagers have been using the ladders to go out and back home for a very long time. Now we make a new ladder every five years. The time they spend here is precious and short, and the journey back is just as tricky. The people here long for better and safer access to their village. It seems China's rapid growth and prosperity has failed to reach parts of remote China. But the villagers and their children believe there is hope for a better future ahead. And that's by getting a good education. Alpha Battelle, BBC News.